Hello, Marissa. I wanted to give you a bird's eye view of your attic and just sort of touch on a few important things along the way. This is definitely an interesting way that your hatch is set up. We kind of talked about that. But I wanted to show you how we would want to actually insulate and seal the pull down stair. And this is just an example of another one. And you can see, and I don't know if you've ever seen one of these before, the access cover that zips open. So when you do need to get up into the attic for any reason, you, know, you can just unzip it and just you know buzz right up there. And the nice thing is that over top, it has a nice insulating layer. And then when it's zipped closed, it just creates a nice seal. So this is your attic, and what I wanted to try to do is just give you a couple of looks of the overall condition. And I mentioned to you that I thought about 50-50, 50% was the blown in, and then 50% had the uh, bat on top, which is going to basically be that big, white, fluffy stuff you see in the photo here. But upon further review, I think it's more of maybe 30% or 33% is got the extra covering. And then 66% is just the original uh, maybe five inches or so of the blown um, fiberglass. Sorry. So again, this is just giving you an overall look of the entire flat portion of the attic, which is pretty much the entire attic. The only section that's not included, which you will see in a few minutes, is the part, the part over your bedroom. But anyway, as we navigate through here, I had mentioned to you there was some insulation up there on some shelving, and you can kind of see what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. And you're just getting here a look at the um, HVAC over that supplies the air over the kitchen. Here, I wanted to show you a measurement that I took of the lower layer, which is the original, we'll call it, the five inches of the loose fill fiberglass. That's what it looks like. And you can see when I pull my tape up to it, it's right around the five inches with a few of the edges kind of popped up. Here, I just wanted to show you how the duct from your bath fan takes a nice, you know, long twisting, turning route to um, the outside. And in my world, we just want to tighten, you know, that up. And then here, I just wanted to show you an example of how when we do tighten it up, one of the things that we're doing is we're putting these um, tension type of oh man, zip ties. And we use a tool here that you can see so that the duct stays in contact with the the um, fan if you do add insulation and do any work and I'm pretty sure what's going on in your situation is that each of the bathroom fans need to be vented out to the uh, gable wall because they're all currently just being vented up to the gable um, vent at the top of the back and front roof and you can see how we do it we pull that flex duct and we pull it nice and tight and get it to the end wall and we put that um, final cap off. So here I wanted to talk to you a little bit about the air sealing part of what we do and what I did here is I just pulled up a couple of areas where you'll see that the plumbing goes down through the we call it a top plate that's the top of a wall and that's so that the plumbing you know can be hidden behind the wall. And what you see here is this is us air sealing an attic that didn't have insulation in the right places, which gave me a great way to show, you know, uh, from a blank slate what we're doing. But what we'd be doing with yours is basically doing all of these things, but just working around the existing insulation. So now let's get into your ducts, which I think is probably the most interesting part of all of this. Although you do, you know, have some deficiencies in the insulation and the air sealing is definitely really important. But I just wanted to sort of take you along and see how the ducts are taped, you know, together and where that is problematic because as I get to the end of the road here and I don't know, uh, yeah, right about here, I'm going to show you head on. This is the return. That's the main return plenum that goes into the air handler. And you can see how one of the big main returns is just it's 
disconnected or broken. There's just a problem there. So you're getting a lot of, you know, air from the attic getting into just between, you know, that particular problem there. That's a huge problem. And I think there's just something missing there that it just wasn't done right. It's just it's placed in and they put tape around it. And what I wanted to try to point out here is the gable end. And this side, you can see that they definitely replaced it, as you'd mentioned. But I think where we need to be on the same page is that is the side gable vent. And you can see where the dryer vent goes through. And you can see where the straight run duct there corresponds with that. That's the old gable hole that I guess they replaced. But on the back and the front of that portion of the house, the gable the vent still exists and my theory is, is and this is going to come into play as we get a little further in the video but you see how the bathroom fan from your son's room goes straight to that area you could see that um elephant in the room there that duct that disconnected duct down there to the right and i was starting to notice it here in the video and yeah boom i took a picture and I was just thinking to myself, okay, no, that's got to be, you know, old, just an old piece of a duck. But I saw rather quickly even there that it was connected up, you know, to that um, return in the ceiling. And I know for sure now that's the one in the hallway, not the one that's closer to your bedroom. And you can see, I kind of looked and you saw some of the dust in there. And that's just air that's getting, you know, drawn through. And um, let's see here. Uh, pretty soon you're going to get a nice shot, which is the shot of the day here of the, you know, where it came out of the connection point in the main plenum. That's what we call it. The main supply plenum. So I should have probably done a little more editing to cut to the chase here because it was a little bit hard to maneuver through your attic. I do apologize, but you're going to get the shot here pretty soon. And um, this is exactly why I think maybe these problems are existing in this area. As I was saying yesterday, it's because they're sort of tight and hard to get to. And if you're not conditioned, then it can be um, challenging. And you can just see, well, let's see, here we go. We're going to get this shot, Eric. Yes, boom. And you can just see this is how I found everything. I mean, this is just the way it is now. I was speaking with Kyle, who I work with, and he was mentioning there's a few, you know, this and that needs to be done. So there's a few missing pieces there. So this is the duck blaster test, and this is how we can get you qualified for some extra rebates if you do want to get these um, ducks fixed. We do a pressure test, and we get a reading at the beginning, and then we seal everything, and then we test at the end. And I think with BGE, they're just really looking for you know some type of improvement on that. So we measure all that, we get pre-approval, and then we show them at the end. And these are some of the techniques that we're using up in the attic to get these ducks sealed up. Uh, you could see we're using handheld kits with spray foam, and that might be a good option for you. We also use another product called Duct Mastic, which is something that we actually paint onto the seams of the duct. And this is what the foam looks like when it cures and we hit those um, you know, uh, joints and those uh, places where the ducts meet. So moving right along here, this is giving you a bird's eye view of the space over the master bedroom. And you can just kind of see there that the there's that's called a knee wall, that vertical wall you see with the dark darker insulation. There it comes in the picture again. And that needs a little bit of love. And these are the things that, you know, you don't have to do now. There's also a duct over there where you can see the insulation has sort of come off of it. So that whole area needs a little bit of love and some ceiling. And, you know, we could dress up that wall pretty good and just make everything a little bit tighter. And that's going to make the bedroom a little more comfortable and just more efficient. And then um, back over to the HVAC system. So that one that we were just looking at, of course, was the HVAC for the bedrooms, I call it. And now we're back over to the uh, heat pump for the area above the kitchen and above the dining room and the family room and things like that. Uh, and you can see here I was just checking on those connections. 
and you know i don't think all of them are terrible but they definitely could use some love and then here you can see where there's a couple of bare spots of insulation around the attic which that's also problematic you, you want to have a nice even layer of insulation all the way through when you have missing spots it's you know going to lessen the r value but here you could just see where the connection just you know needs some love and attention and just get things tightened up it's going to work a lot more efficient okay ventilation i turn my camera off and you can see how a few of the areas and i'm sorry for the low poor angle here you can see how a few of the angles have the daylight and a few are clogged up and then over on the other side this is facing the street now you can see um, where it looks okay you know it looks pretty good there's a few spots on both sides all over really where you know yeah we we could probably you know get some insulation out of the way so as we talked about i will include that as just sort of an individual component of the work scope so you could see if you want to isolate it and this is how putting a baffle in looks you know we're getting down in those tight spots and then you can understand from this you know picture what the baffles job is it'll maintain the pathway even if you add insulation later down the road and that's what it looks like <laughs> when we um, add insulation onto an attic that looks similar to yours and this is what a well-insulated attic looks like.